Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I wanted to quickly demonstrate how to counter Frost in Rainbow Six Siege. Ever since the DLC has released, I'm finding that an absurd amount of players are falling for her welcome mat trap. And while I understand that Frost is an amazing operator, in the right hands, if you know what you're doing and you place this in the appropriate spots, uh, you can be a menace to the enemy team, but even still, I'm, I'm finding that way too many people are falling for it, and I think it's just because they don't understand that there's some pretty easy ways at taking them out. Uh, one DVD location that you can place down this gadget, and this is something that a lot of people are taking advantage of right now when they're playing as Frost, is placing it underneath a windowsill or behind a deployable shield. The reason why this is so effective is that when the enemy is on the outside looking in, even if they know that it's there, and when they peer on over the windowsill, they can't actually get a line, of, a line of sight on it to be able to dispatch of it. And so a lot of the times, they'll look into a room, think it's clear because they, don't, they can't see any enemies, they'll look down at the ground trying to identify if there's a trap there, they don't, they vault on over, and they immediately get put into the down but not out stage. And so my first piece of advice is of course to scout out the room with your drone before you breach on through. This is something that you should be doing regardless, even if the enemy doesn't have a frost on the enemy team, because you want that information to your advantage. If you notice that a trap is underneath that window that you were about to breach, that's just kind of the cherry on top. If that's not possible though, and you have no drones left, uh, one way of countering it, even if you have no idea that the trap is there, is that when you vault on over, immediately start to hit fire or shoot at the ground. You only need to put three bullets into this trap to be able to take it out from 100% to zero. You put three bullets into it and it is going to be destroyed. The downside of this tactic though is twofold. Uh, first of all, you are pretty exposed to anyone that realizes that you're about to breach on in. When you're going through a window, and if the enemy knows that you're about to breach and you're staring at the ground, well, that's a pretty easy kill for them. Uh, the second thing is, is that it also will notify the enemy that you are heading from that certain direction. And so if you were trying to get a sneaky flank off and you're not using a suppressor, uh, breaching through that window by putting a bunch of loud rounds into the ground is going to, of course, notify them of your location. That said, though, it's probably better to do this than run the risk of being put into the down but not out stage. Uh, this also works wonderfully against the deployable shield trap. Uh, if you see a deployable shield in the middle of a doorway and you also know that the enemy has a frost on their team, chances are high that that's going to be booby-trapped by uh, the welcome mats. This is one of my favorite tactics right now when I am playing as Frost because it catches a lot of people off guard. The vault on over, and I cannot tell you how many times I've been able to get a humiliating uh, kill on them because of this tactic. It works the same way as the windowsill. As soon as the enemy tries to peer on over, they can't see the, the trap directly below them, and so they think they're safe and they vault on over and they get put into the down but not out stage. Uh, you can peer over in some spots. You can kind of see through the crack on some doorways and see the trap, uh, but if you do it right, they're not going to be able to do that. And so, once again, much like the windowsill tactic, when you vault on over, because your animation doesn't interrupt your shooting, you can put three bullets into the trap and be able to take it out. Uh, and then the final way that you can work around her gadget is just to simply repel. Uh, open up the window quickly, go inverted, and then you have a clear line of sight on anything that's underneath the window. I do know that you can't do this on every single map or for every window, and that's why I recommended uh, the original tactic that we described. Uh, but if you have the time, I recommend that you do this before you breach on in because it doesn't have the same negative qualities of the first tactic where it leaves you vulnerable because you're shooting out at the ground. You can take out uh, the gadget from the safety of the outside and then when you do breach on in, you can scan the room like normal and hopefully be able to take out the enemy before they're able to shoot you in the face. Uh, but yeah guys, that is about it for today's quick little video. I hope that this was at least somewhat helpful. Uh, for some of you that might be walking away from today's video thinking that Frost is now useless, don't. She's she's still amazing. She's gonna play mind games on your enemy. She's gonna make the enemy second guess when they're breaching through windows. Like I said, there's still disadvantages of using these tactics. It leaves you vulnerable, and so I still think she's gonna be an awesome operator, but uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, this little piece of advice will help some of you avoid these humiliating situations where you, get, where you do get taken out by her trap. Uh, but yep, until tomorrow, have a good one, and take it easy.